James Fortin was born in 1766 as a free black man in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Over the course of his lifetime, he would make an impact upon the fortunes of industries and the lives of his fellow man. Fortin was the son of Thomas and Sarah Fortin and the grandson of slaves. He was raised in Philadelphia and educated in the Anthony Benzett's Quaker School for Colored Children. At the age of eight, James began working for Robert Bridges' sail loft and worked alongside his father. A year later, his father died in a boating accident and James was forced to take on additional work to provide for his family. When he turned 14, he worked as a powder boy during the Revolutionary War on the Royal Lewis sailing ship. After being captured by the British, he was released and returned home to again begin working in Mr. Bridges' loft. Pleased with his work and ambition, Mr. Bridges eventually appointed him to the foreman's position in the loft. In 1798, Bridges decided to retire and wanted Fortin to remain in charge of the loft. He loaned him enough money to purchase it. And soon James owned the business employing 38 employees. Around this time, Fortin began experimenting with the different types of sails for ships and finally invented one that he found was better suited for maneuvering and maintaining greater speeds. Although he did not patent the sail, he was able to benefit financially as his sailing loft became one of the most successful and prosperous ones in Philadelphia. The fortune he soon made was enormous for any man, black or white. Fortin spent his money and lived a luxurious life, but he also made good use of his resources on people other than himself. More than half of his considerable fortune was devoted towards abolitionist causes. He often purchased slaves' freedom, he helped to finance and bring in funding for William Garrison's newspaper, The Libertarian, he opened his home on Lombard Street as an underground railroad depot for those escaping slavery, and opened a school for black children. James Fortin died in 1842 after living an incredible life. His early years were devoted to providing for his mother, his middle years towards building his future, his fortune and his family, and his later years to uplifting his fellow man. James Fortin, he was not only a great inventor, but an even greater man. I'm Kirk Williams.